Mamas like to give a lot of health advice. Some of it true, some of it eh. I'm about to fact check them. But for this video, I got the coolest grandma in the game. Hey, I'm Jimmy, the best grandma in the game. Hey, what? Well, hey, don't swallow your gum. It's gonna stick in your stomach for the next seven years. Imagine you swallow a piece of gum and it stays there for seven years. What happens if you swallow five pieces of gum? Then? I actually covered this on a responding to comments video. I must know, where did this urban legend start from? No, you cannot digest the gum. So it will go right through you and come out the other side. And why seven years? Does the gum thing go like, oh, year five, still gotta chill. Year eight, oh no, we're late. You like that rhyme. I know you like the don't, don't lie. Okay, it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Aw, I think that's true. Let's do a quick search just to confirm. All right, frowning, 11 muscles total. Smiling, 12 total. Wait. <laughs> No, is this true? Different people smile differently and use different muscles, so there is no answer to this. Okay, I'm with it. Graham and I both believe it, so for us it's true. The best thing to eat when you're sick is chicken noodle soup. It helps a lot because I know that for a fact. Not only do I agree as a medical expert, I agree because the scientific research agrees. We've tested this. It's warm, it has electrolytes, a little salt, a little bit of calories. Can you believe that? The chicken noodle soup thing has actually medically been proven to help with the common cold. I mean, the symptoms of the common cold. Good job, Grandma. Now, if you've got a cold, stay in bed and don't exercise and relax. I, I like that. I like that advice. I will go a little one step further, Grandma. I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. If you have a very, very mild upper respiratory illness, you can do some mild exercise. I mean, rest and hydrate is good advice whenever you have a viral illness. So I'm not against what Grandma's selling here. She's spitting facts. She's spitting hard facts. Well, why would that work? I don't know, but it does. Trust me. <laughs> I trust you. Oh, are you flirting with me? Cracking your knuckles will give you arthritis, but I don't think so. <laughs> Grandma Mythbuster in the house! ASMR challenge. But really, cracking your knuckles is just about nitrogen bubbles popping within the joint. And guess what? After a few minutes of cracking your knuckles, those nitrogen bubbles reform. And we've seen it on x-rays. Actually, check it out right here. To get rid of a bruise, more quickly cover it with raw meat. Now, I've heard that, but I'm not sure about it. I wouldn't oh. recommend putting raw meat so you can get bacteria exposure onto your skin. Yeah. Oh, those are tough. Oh! No, you got a bruise, put some ice on it. Or, you know what? Let it be a bruise. Own it, love it. Hug your bruises. An apple a day will keep the doctor away? Maybe. <laughs> She said, maybe. Unless you throw it at me, like the, that meme. Unless you didn't pay your copay, then they'll still chase you. Be careful with these doctors out here. No, apple is great. It has fiber, it has vitamins, nutrients, phytonutrients, good stuff. But it will not like stop you from ever getting sick. I mean, like I, I think that goes without saying. They're yummy too. Like that's the problem. Like we've chemically engineered all these foods now. You give a kid an apple and they're like, ugh. It's not sweet. It is sweet. Just you're Freaking Jolly Rancher is like chemically designed to be like a hundred times more sweet than the right real apple. Nothing against Jolly Ranchers, I love them. Green apple? If you pluck a gray hair too, it'll grow in its place. And you can look at my head and you know that's the truth. <laughs> Why has she been picking her, plugging her hairs? I have gray hairs. I don't know if you can see here. I pluck them sometimes. And you know what's weird? Sometimes when I pluck them and they're really long, I put them against my mirror and they just stay there. I don't know why. I think it's like the root kind of like is sticky still and it attaches <laughs> to my mirror and it just stays there. I'm so weird. It's usually the old one, like a long one, like a really long one. I'm like, ooh, I want to remember this gray hair. If you eat a black watermelon seed, a watermelon will grow on your stomach, and I think that's a lot of rot. I don't think that would happen. Grandma fact-checking grandma myths, retitling the video right now. Imagine if you ate seeds that you just end up growing watermelons out of it. If you cross your eyes for longer than seven seconds, it'll stay that way. But that's an old saying, and I, I'm not sure about that. No, it's not true. You have muscles around your eyes that are perfectly capable of moving your eyes sideways, up and down, horizontally, diagonally, and they return back to normal. That's what muscles do. That's like saying, imagine you flex and your arm will stay like that forever. It won't. Three, four, five, six, seven. Am I good? I said it was seven, yeah. I'm good, right? Yeah, you can, t you can. I did. You can uncross your eyes. I did. You can uncross. Them. I uncrossed. No, they're still crossed. No. Mike, you already got seven. No, 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 no I'm good. I'm good.
No sugar for a baby, it'll make you hyper because sugar gives you energy and all kind of good hyper stuff. Grandma, oh. I know that's what you told your grandchildren, but that ain't true. That ain't true, Grandma. Sugar actually makes an insulin spike and probably makes you sleepy and crash more than it does give you energy. That whole kids get hyper after sugar thing is really not true. Maybe that happened in the beginning when people were getting Coca-Cola and that had sugar and caffeine in it. We're giving caffeine to kids and then they get hyper and we're like, Shh, no. But why would it make you hyper? Sugar sure gives you energy and peps you up and sugar is good, good. <laughs> I think grandma just likes sugar. Grandma needs a little sugar in her life. Remember, the brain does work on glucose, so she's not wrong on that part. Okay, now don't sit too close to the TV or it will hurt your eyes. Grandma, this is so true. We sit all the time looking at computers, looking at books, and in order for your eye to focus on something that's really close to your eye, it actually has to constrict and focus. Over time, that actually causes harm, where your farsighted vision goes away and you become nearsighted. It doesn't go away, it worsens over time. So good job, Grandma. And it'll make you go cross-eyed. No, <laughs> Grandma, not cross-eyed. I just gave you credit. Snacking all day will ruin your appetite for dinner, but I don't believe that's true because snacking all day just helps me be more to eat eat dinner. I'm ready. I like snacking. Grandma just likes snacking. I love snacking too. If you're eating healthy snacks, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Now don't leave the table before eating your carrots because they're good for your eyes. Well, they don't make you see better, but carrots do contain beta carotene, which is vitamin A, which is important for your eyes. But it's not like if you have bad vision, and you have normal vitamin levels and you start eating carrots, it's gonna improve. That's not gonna happen. In fact, you may turn orange from all that beta carotene if you eat too many carrots. Now, walking after a meal will help digestion. And I know that for a fact. I wouldn't necessarily say it helps, but it is a smart thing to do. If you just eat a big meal and then plop down and lie down, the gastric juices that are secreted by your stomach can actually creep up into your esophagus, causing heartburn, acid reflux symptoms, and you do not want that. So grandma, I agree with you on this one. All right, now don't you go outside with wet hair or you're gonna catch a cold. But grandma, common cold is caused by viruses. Rhinovirus is a common one, coronavirus is another one. Why would going outside with wet hair cause that. Even bear, bear's traumatized by that. You know what? I wouldn't recommend going outside with wet hair. It's bad for your hair. The outside air makes the wetness freeze. The water in your hair expands. It can actually make your hair brittle and weaker. Your hair breaks. You don't want that. Neither do I. Okay, now, now don't swim for 30 minutes after eating or you'll get a cramp. Okay, a cramp is something I haven't heard before. I heard that you might throw up. Will you get a cramp? Possibly. Because if you eat a ton of food, blood rushes to your stomach, your parasympathetic nervous system kicks in, it wants to rest, it wants to digest, and then all of a sudden you start swimming and you're moving all these muscles and you need more circulation there, the blood leaves the stomach, the stomach can cramp. Or maybe you're not getting enough blood flow to the muscles and your muscles can cramp. I don't know which cramp grandma's talking about, but it can happen. Drinking seven up can ease this upset stomach because I know because I have a lot of upset stomachs and a lot of seven ups. I cannot even begin to come up or fathom a reason why seven up would help a stomach ache. First of all, seven up contains caffeine, which can irritate your stomach lining, cause more acid secretion and cause more stomach ache. It also has a ton of sugar in it, which is pro-inflammatory. Like if you like the bubbles, just drink club soda without all the caffeine and added sugar. I think this is, Soda industry lobbying at its finest. They've even managed to convince grandma to stock up on 7up. Don't do it. Do not do it. Sorry, 7up. Guess I just lost that sponsorship. Oh well. Flu shot can actually give you the flu. I, I, I don't think so, but it's necessary to have one. Grandma's correct here. The flu shot cannot give you the flu. It just physically can't. It can't happen. Could you get the flu at the same time you get the flu shot because it takes a little while to kick in? Yes. By getting the flu shot, you can have an immune response that might make you feel a little bit tired, maybe have a little headache, maybe have a little bit elevation in your temperature, which makes you think you have the flu. You don't have the flu. You're good. Sucking on your thumb will cause buck teeth. I think that is true, and so don't do it. Sucking on your thumb past a certain age can cause jaw and tooth deformities like buck teeth. Grandma is correct on this, but a lot of kids do this. I've seen numbers climb as high as 70, 80%. Uh, sometimes we're doing like the prenatal ultrasounds and you'll see the baby's thumb in its mouth, even in utero. It's fine, that's that's their self-soothing mechanism. But you should start to discourage it uh, at around age four because then it could start impacting the permanent teeth that are coming in. Grandma, stamp of approval on that one.
We talked to grandma, let's talk to kids. Actually, they're gonna teach me about periods. Let's see what they know. Huge thank you to grandma Bobby and grandson Matthew for being in this video. As always, grandma, you do it. Okay, now stay happy and healthy.